Ellen Barkin and Dennis Quaid star in The Big Easy. You know Miss Ann Osborne, don't you? What evidence you keep about Freddie Angel, huh? Why don't you just face it, Remy? You're not one of the good guys anymore. The Big Easy, next Sunday, 10.15, BBC Two. On BBC One shortly, Bruce Berriford's powerful drama set at the height of the Boer War. Edward Woodward leads an all-star cast in Breaker Morant. The BBC, never afraid to try something new. There's powerful police drama with detective in a wheelbarrow. I'm in a wheelbarrow. This time it's personal. We go uphill and down dale with the adventures of three blokes in a bar. And there's live and uninterrupted coverage of international anvil throwing. And the long-awaited title clash live from Cleethorpe's World Championship Pan Fighting. The BBC believes that great comedy comes from taking risks. So it allows writers and performers the freedom to take them. The BBC can only do this thanks to the unique way it is paid for, by you. But of course, not everything makes it onto your screen. Come here, you've got my tanker! This is BBC Two, and feathers are flying. again from the Lakeside Country Club at the end of day two of the Embassy Darts Championship of the World. As I'm sure you know by now, yesterday's big surprise was the defeat of number one seed Martin Adams, but so far all of the other seeds have survived. Let's remind you of the story so far of this 1997 championship. John Part, the former winner, going through, and then Roger Carter of the US upsetting Martin Adams. Marshall James, number eight seed Andy Fordham, Jeff Wiley of Northern Ireland, defending champion Steve Beaton, all winners. So too Leo Lawrence of Belgium, and down at the bottom, Richie Burnett, the winner two years ago. And in the bottom half of the draw, Bobby George got things underway this afternoon with a 3-1 win over Mick Brooks from Merseyside. And tonight we're going to see the game between Ronald Shulton of the Netherlands and Mike Gregory of Bristol. And that always looked like being one of the outstanding matches in the first round. Let's remind you of the two players, beginning with Mike Gregory. He's uh, 40 now from Poulton near Bristol. First played in this World Championship way back in 1984. And of course lost one of the classic finals in 1992. But he's unseeded this year and a very dangerous opponent indeed for Roland Shulton. The highest seed left in the championship after Martin Adams' defeat. He's 32 next Saturday, in fact, semi-finals day. Comes from The Hague, and despite a whole string of tournament wins around Europe, he's never been beyond the second round here at the World Championship. Well, it lived up to all the expectations. It was the best of five sets, of course. Let's join it right at the start with commentary from John Part and Tony Green. First set, first leg, Roland to throw first. Game on. Into the stage, the number two seed, Roland Shalton. From the Netherlands. 140. The man in form. His opponent, Michael Gregory. Won every major championship, with the exception. 60. Of this, the ultimate, the world professional. 140. Well, it's uh, sitting alongside me of John Park. John, good start from Roland. Yes, very strong. Sixty. So a great start. No nerves. Already with two 140s. One hundred. 
And this is the way you want to start off your match when you get that green ball. Eighty-five. Rolling your ball, one hundred and twenty-one. All treble twenty, all treble seventeen. Well, he's gone for twenty-five. Leaves him ninety-six. Double eighteen with the last dart. Eighty-five score. Unusual way to finish, John. Yeah, a bit different there. Knows what he likes, though. Thirty-nine. Roland, you require thirty-six. It's double eighteen. Yes, great shot. And the first leg. Roland Schulte. Very confident start. Second leg is Mike to throw first. Good in. early days. First leg to the first set. Best of five sets. Best of five legs. 100. Well, this was the pick of the lineup when the draw was made. 140. Well, I don't know what he's been eating, John, but uh, 140 is for fun. Yeah, it's a good sign when you start with a 14 dart game. There's the action there of Mike Gregory, 5 foot 11. 140. Mike's been practicing all over Christmas up through the new year and spent three hours on the board today as his own practice room. 100. So determined to lift this title, one that uh, bypassed him in 1992 when he had two darts to win the title. 100. Well, Mike responding well here. Well, it could be the darts that spell out the set. 140. Mike, you require 161. So 20. 97. Roland, you require 120. You're likely to go for bull again. Yeah, another treble 20. Oh, he's missed it. He can only set up now. 45. Mike, you require 64. A man that prefers double top, but it's treble 16, double 8. Well, he'll go for 16. He went for treble 8 with the first start. Double top, though. 44 score. Roland, you require 76. It's the treble 20 to start with. It's in, now the double eight. 68. Mike be fatal. 20. Double 10. 10. Yes, yeah, game shot. And a second leg. Well, the start Mike we Gregory. expected. Neck and Third neck, one apiece. Game off. Six foot four, Roland. Forty-five. Well, if you look for experience, Mike here, his thirteenth appearance. One hundred. One hundred. Recently, taking up uh, golf as Mike plays left-handed. One hundred and forty. Well, Mike in good shape now on this leg against the throw. Rolling right back at him, though. Could be a one eighty. One hundred and eighty. Well, we said it was going dart for dart. It's going that way. Mike Gregory needing a turn to leave 161. Sixty. So looking good for Roland. You get the feeling that this match will have very few uh, legs against the throw. Eighty-three. Two hundred and one points looking for a handy finish. Eighty one. Roland you require ninety-three. Well Roland will be at the treble nineteen to start this out. And double eighteen. Oh, he's gone bull again. 
Needs 18. Now the ball. 68 score. Mike, you require 120. Well, that is Shanghai. Trouble 20, 20, double top. Trouble 20 now. Double top to take the advantage away. 100. Roland, you require 25. Single nine or 17. That leaves double four now. 21. Mike, you require 20. Double ten. Finished his first leg on double ten. And the second. Yes, that's the third leg. Mike Gregory. Takes the advantage, Roland, and his opportunity. Mike to throw first. Game off. Well, Roland, very confident with the bull shots, but uh, perhaps got him in a bit of trouble there. 40. Yes, Roland from Den Haag. The Netherlands really come to the forefront in darts with Ray Barnevold. 140. The world's number one lady player, Francis Honzela. 45. Well, Roland's been scoring effortlessly here. Yeah, well, jinxed him. 60. And this man uh, moving to the hockey side foot, known for his consistency. But a little bit scrappy in this leg, one that would give him the set. 60. Oh, Mike yet to hit a treble 20 in this leg. Really needs one. 95. Must have aged you, John. But still 60 points behind. 100. Very uh, quiet out in the audience. 81. Roland, you 101. 20s to 81. Trouble 19 or trouble 15. 45. Well, Mike can only set it up now. He needs the 140 to leave his favourite. 81. Good last one. Roland, you 56. Single 16. Double top. Yes, game shot, and a fourth leg. Roland Schultz. Scrappy leg there from Gregory, but it's 2-2. Two -two. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. With a person who keeps calling out while the players are thrown, could you refrain from doing so? Thank you. Fifth leg is Roland to throw first. Game off. Experience as far as Roland concerned, been playing 14 years. It was against Mike Gregory's 34. 25. Well, good opportunity for Mike here. Yes, these are the legs that count, the ones that take the set. 60. There's a grip for Shelton. 45. Changes the scenery now, 130 points ahead. 140. I think it was in Bermuda. Not in the Arctic scenes outside. 100. Well, Roland needs another 140 here. You see the determination in his eyes. 60. But 201, looking to leave a handy finish. And that's the start he was looking for. 141 left. Won't be filling them all up. Treble 15 or treble 19. 123. Well, yes, you dirty rat. As Jimmy Cagney would say.
but it's 78 for Mike Gregory. Oh, good shot to pressure Mike. Mike needs to treble 18 here. Set up the double 12. Oh, now it'll be on the single 20 to leave double 20. Yes, yes he's done it. And the first set, Mike Gregory. We're all looking down because there's a great set for Gregory to win against the darts. Came single out blasting that treble. It's Mike to throw first. Game on, please. Well, John, the way Roland came out, 140, 140 ton, and then Mike coming back, but picking the right legs to win. He's now one set up, first leg. 55. And that's what I'm saying, look, in yeah. the first set, 7140s for Roland, 91.22, 82.80, but it's doubles at count. That's right, he's been scoring 100. powerfully. And... Uh, at least the doubles have let him down. Looking through the camera, it's just at the top of the board. Been down the hockey. 140! This is a chance. Look how far Roland leans forward. I think he could just put them in. Very tall man. Well, that looks as though it went on the floor. 40! So just bend in the back. A bit unfortunate. Look at how Mike here twists his back. It's a lot of back problems. Happens with a lot of dark players. 60. Well, a weak shot by Mike. Let, might let Roland uh, back into this. 100. Been doing a lot of work this year, Mike Gregory. All the way up and down the country. Not done much traveling. To the European 100. events. Yes. One hundred and eighty. Second. Mike Gregory, one hundred and forty-six. Well, this is the one. Trouble twenty. Hundred and six left. Sixty. Roland, you require 18. Roland will need to treble 15 here. He said to treble 10. There's 19. Oh, he's a 15. He's got double 18 left. 45. Mike Rushed it a bit. 86. And the way to go for here, treble 18. Now single 18 for the ball. Ball. 44. Pull it across to the left hand side. 42 Roland, left. 36. There yeah, it is, the double 18. The first leg. Roland Schulten. A lot of support from Holland. Second leg is Roland to throw first. Game on. Well, perhaps Roland uh, charging back into this match. 100. Well, there it is. Mike Gregory, as I said, it's hitting the doubles 50%. Roland 27.27. The hand of Shelton. One hundred and forty. Roland grips it near the back. Yeah, Mike, a grip there, front of the barrel. One hundred. Two very different grips there, Tony. Yeah, just saying, I've said it many times, you don't see anyone really that has the same style, stance or throw, do you, in darts? No, there's almost uh, a signature involved with uh, the grip and uh, the stance. 140! Well, with 100 Dalmatians up on the stage, with one out there. <laughs> I wonder if George is hiding behind it. Had a couple on the floor as well, and off the barrel. The present day boards, the wires. 80. Diamond cuts. We're still in an out shot. Yeah, you don't really see that many bounce outs uh, in this day and age. 126. 
99. Roland Jacquard, 136. Needs two treble 20s. Just high there, so it'll stay there. Now needs a treble 20 for the double 18 left. 43. Oh, taking Mike the pressure Jacquard, off of Mike. 107. Treble 20 to leave 47. Will it go seven double top? Double top. Yes, game shot. And a second leg. Mike Gregory. Prefers that double top. Yes, a bit unorthodox that finish for 107, but whatever works. Game on. First two legs going against the darts. Coming down for 19s. 82. Well, quite an even match at this point. Both scoring well now. Chance for a 180. 123. Only the wire separating a further 57 points. 38. Roland. Well, a two loose start, so Gregory, every chance now, making it 2 1 in the second set. 42. Switches with no success. Let Roland off the hook a bit there. Came to the forefront of uh, the professional game when he won the World Cup singles in 93. Roland, since won the British Open in 41. 1995. This year's Swedish Open champion. Travel all the way around Europe. 123. It looks exactly the same position as the last uh, opportunity for 180 there, John. Well, I'm sure he's happy to be getting the 123s as it is. 59. Mike Iroquois, 131. He'll need the treble 20 here to start it. No, no finish now. Probably stay there. Yeah, now treble 17 to set up the top shot. 57. So a uh, little bit uh, of a chance because still 263. Tall order for a tall man. 60. Mike, you require 74. He doesn't like uh, double 16, but should be treble 14. Single 20. And once again, double top. 35. And pulling one or two. Well, we'll have to go for the 32 now, Tony. Or the 36, I suppose. 81. Mike, other, other option. 39. It'd be 19, double 10. Well, that's but we'll true. see anyway. Well, is it 16? He was going for seven there as well. Well, he could stay there on a seven now. Double ten. Yes, game shot. And a third leg. in, but he's Mike finished Gregory. most of his legs with double ten. Four leg is Roland to throw first. Game on. Well, Roland's brought a lot of support here from Holland. A country that's really top of the European list. Sixty. Along with Great Britain. Mike's hitting the shots when he needs to hit them. 45. Look at that uh, audience there, John. Brilliant. Comfort and pleasure. 140. Well, they may be a bit surprised by the dilemma of the number two seed here. Although Mike does have vast experience. Well, I did mention he's been here 13 years. 60. Four times in the quarterfinal. Semi-finalist, 1990. 140. There's Lisa, who's just recently uh, become the fiancé of Roland. 
45. Oh. Not a good shot from Roland there. Mike really in the driver's seat. Oh, oh, set his double up. 40. Really going ahead now. If he likes double 18, does Gregory. One hundred and fourteen. And one fields. Mike Udall, thirty-six. He has to hit it for the set. Double eighteen. Good marker. Yes, game shot. And a second set. Mike well, Udall. Headaches for Holland. Headaches for Roland. Third set. First leg is Roland to throw first. Game on. Well, Mike had three one forties on the trot there. That last leg. Really powering now. 140. Well, it was Roland, the first set, averaging 92. He's coming back into the field, but Mike Gregory creeping up. 85.14, but finishing well. 42. Selecting the legs, that means the taking of a set. 85. Always nice to have someone to look up to. One hundred. Sixty. Well, Mike could get back into this with a good score. I've noticed uh, as I said, I've been a lot of travelling with Mike, and he, that last start it seems to twist it. 95. That's what I used to call this, Carol and Kelly. Mike Gregory's beautiful wife. Oh, what a great shot. 114. Rolling the ball, 121. Go for the ball. Treble 20. He's missed it, can only set it up. We have to treble 20 again. Oh, he's left the lead. 105. Mike Yuquan, 136. We're going for this one. Two treble 20s. Double eight. Good start. Double eight. Come pausing. Double eight. 120. But no music to the ears. Roland Yuquan, 16. Double eight. Yes, game shots on the first leg. Roland Sultan. Second leg is Mike to throw first. Game on. I think it's caught the imagination of the audience already, this match. He missed that double. Wow, Mike. And he has been hitting him, as I say, 50%. Roland slipping back, 33.33. 60. Twist the back. 100. Look how far Roland leans forward. Let's say six foot four. So relaxed. 80. It's that barrel again, John. Did you notice? Yeah, it almost just bounces off uh, when it comes in. Let's look at the last throw of the last start here. There it is. See the twist? 55. Yeah, there's and it comes in at more of an angle down as well. You can see the result of it. 100. Well, what a beautiful little face there, John. Hey. Okay. She's enjoying herself now. 122. Nice so bring the kids to enjoy it. And as I say, Holland, not much to cheer about. I don't know if they've dug the tunnel or swum the channel. 46. Mike, you require 84. Let's start with the uh, treble 20. Now, treble 16. Now oh, he's got 14. Now the bull. 
Gone for the 10. 44. A strange he shot for the 14 if he wasn't going to go for the ball. Well, he didn't like leaving double 16, John. Well, this is it, uh, knowledge of the players. Oh. 177. A great shot to Mike leave double and pressure Mike. 40. Needs the double top. Yeah, yes, he's done it. Shot on the second leg. Mike Gregory. So much confidence on the double top. Third Roland. Leg is Roland to the first. Yeah. There's Carol. Manette Beaton sat alongside her. 83. Well, he's been well catered for the last two days. They're a great management team. 60. And there they are, Nanette Beaton and Carol, Louise, family affair. 60. Well, so far the games have uh, gone with the throw in this set. They're rolling with the advantage in that respect. The other thing, John, is that uh, Alan Critchlow manages both Mike and Steve. They've booked a room in the hotel where they can practice on their own. And Mike's been in there all day. 100. Well, it is nice to get away as a, as a player to some quiet and uh, concentrate on the job at hand. 100. One hundred and forty. Well, we've seen some lovely ladies. Eighty-five. Roland will well, need the treble twenty to start. Now the treble twenty again. They'll leave double nineteen. Hit. Eighty-two. Left himself double. Eighteen the shot, John. Double eighteen. And they'll be getting a shot at it because no shot from 196. 100. Roland Newport. Joanne Williams. Very pleasing smile, but it's double nine for a better smile from Roland. Yes, great shot. And the third leg. Roland Schultz. 2 1 down then. Third set. Mike Gregory. Four Greg is Mike to throw first. Game on. There it is again. 83. Went for trouble 19, pulled it at three. Rachel Baxter. Another of the players is Ronnie Baxter, who will be 100. gracing the hockey. 100. Well, if Mike can take this leg, you really have the pressure on Roland. 100. And I think Mike knows it as well. 59. I don't know if you ever watched the movies, John, but uh, we all us put Roland Shelton along Vincent Price. 100. It can be quite scary when you have to play Roland. In actual fact, he told his mum and she says, oh, that's nice, because uh, he's a lovely looking man. 100. Yes. 84 left for Mike Gregory in a leg that will make it all square and put him one leg away from victory. 60. No pressure. Mike, you require 84. Shovel 20, double 12. Double 12. Double 6. Yes, 10 shots. And the fourth leg. Mike and it's Gregory. Darby and John in a solid performance. From Mike Gregory so far. Two and eleven. Is Roland to throw first. Game on. One big effort from Gregory here to break the service of Roland Shelton will cause another upset. The number two seed. One hundred. A good start from Roland. Well, the seeds are falling on stony grounds. The number one seed having departed. First match of the first day. 140. Great shot from Mike there. Really putting the pressure on. 140. 
There's one thing about Roland, never knows when he's beaten. He'll never give in. One hundred and forty. Well, yes. It's like um, like see Yorkshire man on holiday. One hundred. Two 140s, moving ever closer. Rolling on a finish of 161. 60. Rolling for 161. No reaction from Carol Gregory. Treble 17. Ball for 161. Oh, the fraction there, John. Mike, no, Mike with the save. Use the treble 20 to start. Oh, won't do it this time. Can only pressure now. 60. Roland Yukwa, 25. Right, Roland needs the nine. Now the double eight. Yes, yes he's done it. Game short. And the third set. Roland Schultz. Moving in into the fourth set. Fourth set, first leg. It's Mike to throw first. Game on. Mike Gregory. With the advantage in this, the four set leading 2 1. Pretty even match. 60. Throughout. Well, there it is. Roland Shelton, 88.76. Mike Gregory, 87.90. Nothing to choose between the two, John. No, it's all been right down to the doubles. And finishing. 30. A bit of a slip of the concentration after winning that important uh, leg. One hundred. It's noticeable with Mike as well. He seems a little bit more relaxed than when he first came out. When you get tense, you know, you're not your normal action. One hundred and forty. So recovered after the first throw. You see the butterflies flying along on the flights of Gregory. Sixty. Well, Mike uh, has assumed control. It's a treble here. Well, 60. The scoring sort of fallen off, but there's uh, a bit of a lull after the tension of that fifth leg in the last set. 140. Mike had a quick glance there at his score. It's 2 2 1, rolling on a finish. 140. Down to 81. So 132. One, maybe 25 or the ball. Ball it is. So that's 82. Could do with another ball. May go for treble 14. Let's wait. Well, unlucky. Just drop below. Wrong treble. 92. Mike, you require 81. Needs the treble 15. Now the double 18. Yes, yes. game shot and a first leg. Mike a Gregory. great leg, a great recovery from Gregory. Takes the first leg, four Second set. Leg. Roland to throw first. Game on. Thank you. So has to keep the advantage of throwing first as Roland. That's not the way to do it. 41. Look at Gregory, not miss much. 56.25, 37.5 all roll, and the number two seed. 60. No advantage taken there. 125. Well, the last six legs have gone with the darts here, Tony, so they're really settled in now. And after that last score of Roland, this could be going the same way in this one. 140. And that's Ronald McDonald by the looks of it. 81. 60. 
I must say, they're getting a great order from a great crown, aren't they, John? Well, I think they're enthralled with the match. It's uh, so up in the air at this point. 100. So finish 154. Switching to nine teams. 94. Rolling your ball, 154. Treble 20, good start. Treble 18. And just the four. So 90, still treble 18. 118. That's left him double. Mike, you require 147. Need a treble 20. Yeah, probably stay there. Yes. 67 remaining. Treble 17, the shot. Well, he might try and leave double 10 somewhere. 97. Roland Ucoir, 36. Double 18. Yes, yeah, missing nothing. Roland Schultz. So even. Third leg is Mike to throw first. Game on. Well, as it's going, John, I think Roland has to break the serve. 140. If not this leg, then in the fifth. Well, at least we know where Linda is. 100. Oh, well, Mike could uh, put himself in good with another 140 here. 100. Squares it off. Two six one apiece. Yes, what a time! First reaction of the match from Mike Gregory. Eighty one left after nine darts. His first one eighty of the match comes at a good 100. time. Mike Gregory eighty one. Double eighteen, so trouble fifteen. Is it 10? 71, double 10. The one is it in. Is it it? Same position. Right in the corner. Score. It's all over that leg. That's game shot. Yes. And it was a game game. shot. Gregory knew Mike it. We knew it. And Roland Shelton knew it. Fourth leg. Roland to throw first. Game on. Well, even Steve Nicholas getting caught up in the atmosphere, John. Well, both players are playing extremely fast. 100. So hard to keep Fans up. Fans a smile. Does happen, I tell you what. They're doing a great job, though. Under tremendous pressure. 60. What a very good first start. Makes it difficult for the other two. 60. Down the hockey, a distance of seven foot nine and a quarter. Ninety-five. Uh, he has got his fans up, Crawling. That must be uh, a little bit of Flemish. Eighty-one. Well, Mike not applying much pressure to Roland here. 42. Could be saving himself for the next leg when he'll have the advantage. Not quite right, Tony. He knows it, too. 100. <laughs> 134. There's Mike's two little Roland girls, Kelly and Louise. Watching their daddy go through the pain barrier. 41. Mike, you are 107. There's Mummy Carroll looking at 170 finish. He can do it. Two trouble 20s ball. That's the start he wants. Is that ball, isn't it? It was in. What a way to have finished the match. Nanette Bean shakes her head. A smile from Carroll. 19's first. Trouble 20. Could that be the end of the number two seed? 40. Mike, Mike just needs 25. the nine double eight now. 
five, double ten, I would think, John. No, you're right. Double eight. Nine. Well, he's been hitting double Goal tens. Goal 79. But back to Sean to save the match. Will he go for 19s first? Yes, 60. He'll give him one dart for double top, or double ten as it is now. Yes, oh, what irony. And the fourth leg, Ronald Shorten. Well, Gregory, why didn't he go Here's five Greg double ten? Right to throw first. Game on. Roland stays alive with the very double that Mike's been killing him with all night. He stayed away from double 16, double eight because it's always in his mind. 100. Is it double tens? He had a chance there. Five double ten, John. But still, Roland needs this one to take us all the way. 100. Mike needs it for the match. Yeah, Mike's still in a very good position here. 100. Consistent. Two consecutive times. One hundred and forty. Forty points behind. Forty-one. Well, Rawlins' chance now. Fifty-nine. Never took the advantage. Could be a big opening here for Mike. Well, 100 leaves him 160. Just missed 170 out shot. 100. 100. Well, with the treble here, Roland could be in good shape still. Two bad first outs, though. 60. Mike, you draw 160. All right. And you get a 160 finish. Needed two trebles. Thirty-eight. Well, we went for ball twenty-five there. 162. Eighty sixty-two. Treble ten. One hundred and ten. Mike Lucas. One hundred and twenty-two. For the match. Treble eighteen. The shot. Still treble eighteen for the ball. Ball. For the match. Oh, 97. Looking, looking good now. Roland Lucroix, 32. Double 16 to take us all the way. Double eight. 24. Chances now. Carol smiling. Carol Gregory. 25. Looking at Obi Mike. Single nine. And two darts now for double eight. Double four. Oh, regretting that. It's double four. Roland, you require eight. For Roland Schultz. To make it two, two in sets. Taking his time. The world number two. Double four. One to go. It's there. Yes, go short. Saves the match, look at the lads from Allen, Mike Gregory not happy, could have made it all over, but it's into the final Here's set. Six, first leg, Roland to throw first. Game on, please. Final set, the first leg. Roland fought his way back. 60. Well, there we are, it spells it out. Even all the way through, it's now level at two apiece, 88%. Gregory, 87. 140. But the battle continues. One hundred. 
looking at Lisa. With a beautiful ring on her finger. And this is the man who paid for it. One Well, Mike enjoyed a two sets to nil lead, and uh, now in the fifth set, he must be thinking a little bit. 100. Yes, he's losing uh, a little bit uh, of his way in this leg. One hundred and thirty-four. Leaves him eight to four. No outshot, Roland Shelton. 95. Oh, Mike levels it. 84. Mike needs to treble 20 now. Now double 12. 72. Well, he's putting the doubles away Roland all the time. 84. Same shot. Well, that's treble 1, 81, treble 15. Not many more options. All we can do is live in hope now. 28. Mike, you require 12. It's double six. Double three. Yes, game shot. First leg. You can Mike feel Gregory. the relief there on Gregory's face. Look, getting applause there Same for the lads from the Netherlands. Yes. The game double on. three is such a scary double to, uh, for a player. Leads to doom if you don't hit it. Mullis broke the serve of Roland throwing first. The first leg. Checking out Mike Gregory slipping back. 42.31. He was up to 60. Roland Shelton with 37.50. 100. Yeah, nice marker that first down. That's where the dart should be. 140. Steve Holt. 140. A lot of pressure all the way through. Each player, as one gets the score, the other replies. 38. That's Peggy and Cleet, the wife of Peter. 3-1-8s, he's got Holland delight. 95. Roland, you require 81. Trouble 15. 71. Trouble 13. Single 18 now, and he'll get a shot at double top. 41. It's Mike Gregory still on 185. He needs two treble 20s and a 25. Still, still on a 65. good out, though. Roland, you require 40. Double top. 40. No score. Another chance. Mike, you require 120. He's the treble 20 to start. Still at it. Still has the shot. Can only set it up now and watch Roland. 56. Roland, you require 40. That's double top once again. Yes, it's the first short. start this time. Roland Schultz. Third leg. Roland to throw first. Game on. We've got two legs in this set. Both gone against the darts. So advantage swings once again. For the lad from the Netherlands. The number two seed in this year's championship. 42. 60. Oh, a bit tentative here. Well, it's coming down to the nitty gritties now. 140. 
Now the player wanting to lose this leg. Sixty. But the confidence now must be on the shoulders of Roland Schultz. Sixty. Oh, Mike needs to put a big one in to have any chance in this leg. Yes, he's found it. 114. 259, not a very good number because 100 leaves 159. So I'll be working it all out. Well, he's well past 100. 114. 119 left. Mike must respond. He does. 95. Roland, you require 119. Single 19, all the treble. Treble 20, double top. Double top for 119 finish. It's yeah, there as well. Short. With ease. The Roland cheers Roland. from Holland. Four Gregory, eight, all to do. Two, throw first. Game on. From a winning position in the fourth set, now looking to save the match. Mike Gregory. 100. Forty points to the good after the first throw. A lad from Paulton in Somerset. Fifty-five. Oh, what pressure! Yeah. Well, Michael's daughter's there, nothing to cheer because Daddy is under the cosh. Only four in it. Eighty-three. Needed that. Two of them. They'll cheer this. One hundred and thirty-nine. Well, the cheers are ring out for Dad. I wonder if they know what's happening up there. Pressure, John, all the way. One, two, six. Treble 19, 19, ball. Treble 19, no, it's pulled it. Could be his last throw this in the championship. 82. Roland, you require 38. Roland thinking it out. Look at it. Double 19. Three darts. Yeah. He's done it. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. The number two seed survives. Mike Gregory, a great performance, had his opportunity. But it's Holland standing, applauding their favourite, Roland Shelton. Well, we always thought it would be one of the ties of the, the tournament, and it proved to be so. Congratulations, Roland. Thank you very much. How pleased were you to come through that one? Very pleased. I know I had to play against Mike earlier on, and there was no doubt in my mind not being rude to Mike because I know he's well experienced and that was one of my doubts but I never had a doubt in my mind that I could lose again and then I was two sets down and there was a doubt and I thought well there's only one thing you can do against an experienced player like Mike because he's got so much experience compared to me never ever give up and that's what I just I just kept on hanging in there and just like keep on going no matter what he does just keep on going just keep him pressurized keep him going and then finally well it gave way and I thought well that's good you, you did the right thing, but at the same time, obviously, Mike had chances to, to put you out. Oh, yeah, and definitely. Yeah, definitely. So luck comes into it. Always. Oh, yeah, luck, luck as well. But mm. then again, if you don't pressurise or if you don't leave him a shot or if you give him a chance, that keeps him pressure as well. Mm -hmm. And that keeps him things to think about. And yes. in the end, it turned out right. There's a few statistics we can pick out, Mike, good averages, all the rest of it. The one that I'm sure hurts you badly is you had six chances to win the match. I remember it well against Phil. <laughs> <laughs> it seems no. to be a feature of your career that oh, you no, get yeah. involved in great games, but, but on the wrong side. Well, the only reason I go long on and playing all these long games is I like the TV. <laughs> 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 so you're putting a brave face on it again, as you often do, but um, I'm sure deep down that, it, that one must hurt. 
It doesn't hurt that much because at the end of the day, like the first round, I went out the first round last year to Les. Didn't play half as well as probably what I did this year. I felt good this year. Um, I've, I've been on the road doing a lot of exhibitions for Bass and we had the Embassy Road Show, which is a cracking... Um, we had all county players coming up and playing me, really getting me into form, and then I've had a, a few good uh, weeks to practice as well on my own, which is what I like. I knew Roland, I mean, he's number two, number two seed. You know, why couldn't I have had Steve Beaton? <laughs> 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 but no, sorry, Steve. But uh, no, I've enjoyed myself. It's been cracking again. It's, it's just nice to be here, and if I keep qualifying, I'm going to get it one day or another. You're still laughing anyway. Roland, we look forward to seeing you in the next round. Well done to you both. Great game. Thank you. Yes, it was a terrific match, wasn't it? Seven countries already represented in the second round. Let's just recap on how things look. And the bottom half of the draw here in the Embassy World Championship, victories for Bobby George, Roland Shulton, as we've seen Marvin King getting the better of Graham Hunt, 3-1 tonight. And Ronnie Baxter, the number seven seed from Lancashire, going through in straight sets against Andy Jenkins. And that was another high-class match. We'll be able to see it when we return tomorrow afternoon here on BBC Two at five past three. Until then, from all of us at the Lakeside, bye for now. nice house, a nice car, you're grown up. It's you, and it's Mel, and it's me, and it's Claire, and it's Murray. And that's the way it's always been. And she had sex with him. She thought he looked as if he wasn't eating properly. Why didn't she just cook him a meal? The Things That Trouble Grown Ups, Tuesday at 10 on BBC Two. A look at the weather now on BBC Two with John Ketley. Hello and a very good evening to you. Well, whilst it's going to stay cold in this country for much of this coming week, it's now turning colder over in North America. And the reason for the change in the temperature, the big drop in temperature, is this had been this band of heavy rain which had been moving eastwards across those more southeastern states during Sunday. You can see the bright colours there indicating some heavy rainfall. And there's some snowfall developing behind as well, particularly around the Great Lakes coming down into Chicago. Well, it's the cold front, and as the name implies, we've got the drop in temperature coming in from the west at the moment. You can see the big change in the colours. We're losing the yellows and the oranges, we've got the greens, and now we're seeing the blues moving down from the northwest in the next 24 hours. So it really is going to be bitterly cold across much of North America for much of this coming week. Obviously the exception you can see in the south here, Florida, where it rarely turns cold. It looks like being pretty warm actually for the next few days if you're thinking of going over there for a holiday. Well obviously it's cold in Europe as well. The blue area here indicating where the coldest weather is, and that's going to stay across many northern and certainly some central parts of Europe for much of this week as well. Further south through the Mediterranean, well, it's not quite so cold. It's really quite pleasant on the eastern side of the Mediterranean at the moment with temperatures up around 18 degrees. But there are some showers around too. In fact, there's been some heavy rainfall over the past few days. On Saturday, for example, Biarritz caught quite a deluge. And then during Sunday, we saw some of the wettest weather down at Malaga. And the temperature there was just seven degrees. There was virtually the January average of rainfall in just six hours, actually, on Sunday morning. Well, there's the low pressure that brought that rain. That's going to be pushing up across the western basin, giving some heavy rainfall probably and some cold winds in Barcelona during Monday. Further north, we've got our high pressure and some weakish systems coming south across Scandinavia, but staying bitterly cold across much of northern Europe, as I've mentioned already. That's the situation then for Monday with some stormy weather in the western basin. Further east, really quite pleasant. But then further north, well, some mist and fog, very grey weather, damp and dank. And we're going to see those sub-zero temperatures with further snow flurries to come in many areas during Monday. We've got a few flurries of our own as well down the eastern side of Scotland, a few down through eastern England as well, but not too many. This patch of sleet and snow moving westwards now out of the southwest of England. Temperatures will fall below freezing in many parts of the country, and freezing fog is going to be quite a hazard, I would think, especially across southern and western Scotland through tonight, which will be rather slow to clear on Monday because the winds are going to be very slack up there across the country. Later in the week, though, we will find the winds beginning to increase again from the southwest as the high pressure retreats northwards again. That will introduce a breakdown in the weather, but timing that breakdown is going to be very difficult, and certainly the potential is there for some heavy snowfall as that comes along. That's the situation, then, once we get through to the end of the week. But as I say, timing impossible, so you'll need to keep her tuned to our broadcasts over the next few days. Monday morning then, starting off with that freezing fog in the northwest of Scotland in particular. One or two little flurries with that thicker cloud down the eastern side of Britain. But most places having a dry day, a fairly bright day with a little sunshine. Some of that fog slow to clear 
and that means temperatures there will stay below freezing all day. Good night. If I was asked to describe my idea of heaven on earth, it would certainly be set in a country garden like this, surrounded by a glorious jumble of colour and perfume. In his last series, Jeff Hamilton meets the people who've created their own versions of heaven on earth. Do you look upon this as your own little earthly paradise? Yes, it's got to be, hasn't it? Jeff Hamilton's Paradise Gardens starts Tuesday at 9 on BBC Two. And that's all from BBC Two for this evening. Just a reminder, though, BBC Radios 1, 2 and 5 Live are on the air throughout the night to keep you company. So on behalf of everyone here on BBC Two, this is Manju Mali wishing you a very good night.